there's fresh waters with Huey Harris. Because it's who you sit up on the watch this right here that carries a blessing on their life that God will use to bless you and pull you out of some stuff. Go to Exodus. God told me to tell somebody up in this house, if I was you, Tasha, if I was you, church, Robert, I'd be looking for my what? Moses. If I was you, God told me to say, 5 o'clock this morning, he said, tell those at French Waters, tell those that's watching by television, listen to you by the radio, hurry up and find your Moses. My God up in this house, you just missed Jesus. Somebody... Those that are going to sell out for Jesus. Yes, God, I hear the Holy Ghost. I know you're going through pure hell. I know you're going through some things right now. But continue to lean on God. Continue to trust in God with all your heart. Come on, don't give up now. This is your time to be blessed. Come on, don't throw in your cars yet. Come on, church up in this house and say amen. Shout one time amen. So the Lord, oh, let me go ahead and preach, Bishop. The Lord told me to tell somebody it's payback time. It's payback time time how many you know the story of job how many you know that god bless his latter days all that hell job went through god still turned it around and blessed them there's some people in here god told me to tell you it's payback time it's your time for your miracle it's time for you to be blessed come on it's time for you to be healed it's time for increase somebody shout one time it's time payback time say it again say it's payback time it's payback time God dropped that word in my spirit. He said, you go over there to Bishop Church. And you tell the bishop, you tell his church, you tell every visitor, you tell them all that it's payback time. All the hell you've been through two years. If you've been through some hell two years, God is going to turn that thing around and bless you. He's going to turn that thing around and bless your socks off. Somebody shout one time and see your spirit. It's payback time. It's payback time. Say it again. Say it's payback time. Shout one time. It's payback time. It's payback time. That's what God did to Job. He paid him back. He allowed the devil to take everything from him. Amen, church. Amen. Amen, church. And yes, I can see Job's friends coming to encourage him. He lied ass and all of them. They came to encourage Job. But watch this. They was being nosy. Watch out for those encouraging folks. They want to come around and encourage you, but they'll snake. Come on, somebody up in this house and say amen. There are some folks that uh, are speak a blessing out of one end and curse you on the next end. Come on, somebody up in this house and say amen. I got a 77 year old grandma. She gave me cocaine when I was 12 years old. She'll go to the Bible. She'll, she'll go to the front door with the Bible in one hand. And she'll have cocaine bishop in the next hand. Come on, somebody up in this house and say amen. See, the Bible say, somebody say, the Bible say, they honor me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. Somebody need a heart check this morning. Oh my God, somebody said, time to check your heart. Check your heart, check your heart. Check your heart out. Get your heart in order. Get your heart checked out. He said, they honor me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. It's payback time. Give me about 10 minutes. Job said, we count them happy that endure affliction. What will God, what will a God who sits high but knows which way the winds are blowing say to me tonight? God told me to tell you four things. He will say to the wind that's coming your way, be still. He will say to the storm, stop. He will say to the sickness, dry up. He will say to the trouble, get back. I don't care what trouble you're going through right now. You just got to learn how to tell that trouble, learn how to tell that stuff to get back. I'll preach the message one time, get back, get back, get back. I don't care what you're going through, just learn how to tell it to get back. That's a word for somebody. Somebody came up here scratched out. Somebody came up here going through some things. But I hear the Holy Ghost tonight saying, all you got to do is tell what you're going through to get back. Tell two people to tell it to get back. Say it again, say get back. Say it again, say get back. If your husband started acting up, tell him to get back in the Holy Ghost. If your wife started acting up, tell her to get back in the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, get back. Learn how to tell them devils that's coming against you to get back. Somebody shout one time, get back. The, the, go to this scripture right quick. Isaiah chapter 61. You know the story of Job? He was a man that was righteous, that was blessed. And God blessed him. And the devil tested him and tempted him. And even spoke through his wife and cursed God and died. Joe said, you sound like a foolish woman. You sound like a foolish woman. Go to Isaiah chapter 61. Somebody's about to receive double for your trouble. You're about to receive double for all the hell you've been through. 
If you receive this word tonight, God is going to bless you. He's going to give you double for your trouble. He's sending me and my wife to Cleveland, Ohio to give us double for our trouble. If that's you about to get double for your trouble, shout, yeah! Say it again, say, yeah! Go to Isaiah 6 to 1 right quick. I don't got all night to preach this thing. It don't take God all long to move. It don't take him long to move. Go to Isaiah 61. You need to run up out of the night. That's what you need to be saying. Get back, get back. Whatever come knock on your door. Whatever hell you go through, just tell it to get back, get back, get back. You got to run. See, that's got to be some word inside of you to say get back. See, if you don't got no word inside of you, you can't withdraw. You can't withdraw. Glory to God. How many you know if you don't have no money in the bank, you can't go to the bank and try to withdraw $100 out? I went to the bank tonight to sell $100 seed. You know why? Because I had money in the bank. You can't tell hell to get back if you don't got no word inside of you. You don't even know the word. You all stressed out and being moved out of the place where God placed you at. Come on, church, and say amen. Learn how to stand. Haven't done our own, we'll just stand. Stand if you go to hell. If this message has been a blessing to you, or visit our website at HueyHarrisMinistries.org where you can download sermons from the site. On behalf of Pastor Huey Harris and Freshwaters Christian Center, we thank you for listening and have a blessed day.